Hi, so we'll continue our lesson about the Mayan civilization and uh, most recently, lesson 2.1 of chapter 6, uh, we learned about the Mayan society, how the Mayan's uh, social structure is divided into four uh, levels or layers, the king being the top and then followed by the priest and the warriors and there are merchants and then at the bottom are the farmers and the slaves. And today we'll learn about the other Maya achievements such as the cities they built and uh, aspects or areas like culture and art uh, that will make them distinct or different from the label that was put on them that they are just uh, a bunch of savages because savages will not build cities, will not build complex or complicated cities and will not make arts and will definitely not refine or improve the culture that they have. So absolutely the Maya accomplished a lot that can be compared to other great civilizations of the world. Okay, so have your textbooks ready or log in to our website at Loda Unified School District and to Clever and from Clever Cengage Learning with your student account and password and of course on the left side, you'll see that uh, it is arranged in unit, unit three, chapter six, section two about the Maya, and then lesson 2.2, .2, the classic period is the title of the lesson, and it's in pages 158 to 159. So the chapter's essential question is how did Mesoamerican civilizations adopt and adapt the cultures of earlier civilizations, and these are the Almecs and the Zapotec. And the objective of this lesson, Lesson 2.2, .2, is to describe the cities, structures, and art of the Maya in the Classic period. So like what I said a while ago, the Maya built sophisticated cities and created impressive artwork, which makes them a civilization with culture. So Lesson 2.2 .2 describes the influence of the Almec, on Maya structure and culture. This lesson is divided into two parts. The first part are about the cities that they built and the second part is about culture and art. The Maya built a lot of cities but the most important and most popular I believe is El Mirador which has been called the cradle of the Maya civilization meaning it is the place where it all started. You can check Lesson 2.1 for uh, the map of El Mirador or where it's situated or located. The city flourished for about 300 BC to AD 150 and it was a home for as many as 200,000 people. That is big um, for an ancient civilization standard. Of course, 200,000 people is nothing if you will compare this to modern day cities, but for ancient civilization standard, that is a lot. Other cities developed during the classic period between 250 AD to 900. Cities like Copan, Tikal, Chichen Itza, and Palenque. So these cities are independent city states, meaning they have their own king but they are linked together, creating an empire-like civilization. So during this time, um, merchants from the cities exchanged goods such as salt and jade jewelry and often paid them with cacao beans. And if you can still remember from our previous lesson, cacao beans are so important that they are used as currency, like money. So going back to the cities, so most Maya cities followed a similar layout. There is a large plaza in the center of the city that served as both a public gathering place and a market. So each city has also contained a palace for a king, administrative buildings, temples, and stepped pyramids. So they have their own pyramids as well. So many of these uh, pyramids featured platforms at the top. Priests conduct ceremonies on top of these platforms so the entire population can witness them. And these ceremonies can be gory sometimes. It's because it is a time when they offer sacrifices, which often in, involves human sacrifice. 
Now, just in case you're wondering why human sacrifice, well, from our previous lesson, they believe that the gods uh, gave them blood that sustains human life. So therefore, the food that will satisfy their gods is the same blood that they gave to them. So in a way, they believe that they are just giving back to their gods. And just in case you're wondering who are these people that they sacrifice, well, sometimes these are the slaves that they capture from their raids and their defeated enemies. And also volunteer bases as well. But one way, interesting way of drafting their sacrifice and the selections happen through a ball game called Paka Talk. Well, there are different names for it and we will discuss the details if, fingers crossed, we'll be back to normal, we can get to play this Mesoamerican slash Mayan ball game. Well, of course, we will not sacrifice anyone. We will just have fun. Now, what is this ball game? Just to give you an overview, so they use a ball, which is not necessarily the softest ball in the world, which is most likely so tough that uh, you have to cover your head, otherwise it will break your skull. Players weren't allowed to touch the ball with their hands, so that's one number one rule. They could only bounce the ball through their knees, hips, and elbows, like Shakira. Hips don't lie. So the goal of the game was to launch the ball through a stone ring. It's like a basketball court. Since this ring is like placed sideways like what you are seeing in this picture, since the ring is placed sideways and you can only use your hips and head maybe, sometimes elbows, it is so hard to make hoops with these rings and games uh, can last for several days. And I don't think anyone is scoring triple-double with this uh, type of games. It's an interesting ball game to say the least. And finally, let's talk about culture and art. So like the ball game, many other aspects of the Maya culture and art were linked to religion. It always has something to do with offering or you know, pleasing their gods. Artists made sculptures that honored and brought to life the various many Maya gods. They also carved stone slabs called stelae to honor their kings. Um, artists carved uh, a king's likeness on a slab and recorded his action on it as well as actually the setting of his story in a stone. So in a way, this is like their social media account. This is like their Facebook or Instagram. Kidding aside, this is like a monument that honors their king. Now, the Maya did not write a lot of books. Now, how did we know a lot about them? Well, the stories were handed down from generation to generation through this what we call oral traditions. In other words, through storytelling. And this oral tradition continued long after the Maya civilization had come to an end. So it may have been weakened by war, food shortages, and overcrowding. But for whatever reason, the Maya had abandoned many of their cities, the cities that we mentioned a while ago. So many Spanish conquerors arrived in the 1500s. Only weekend city-states had been left behind, a shadow of their former glory. And this is one of the reasons why it was easier for the conquistador to defeat this mighty civilization with many great warriors. Okay, now let's go to the review NSS questions. The first one, reading check. What was the layout of most of the great Maya cities? When you say layout, how do they place the buildings, the houses? Number two, integrate visuals. Based on the illustration and what you have learned about the Mesoamerican ball game, what qualities were probably necessary to play the game? Now, this is very common sense. Number three, make inferences. How do you think the Maya reacted as they witnessed a religious ceremony performed at the top of a towering pyramid? And we are thinking about this ceremonies conducted by the priest that in, involves sacrifices of humans. All right, now go ahead, go to our Google Classroom and open the review and assess assignment from chapter 6, section 2. 
and it's in lesson two. Last name, first name, class period, and date. Okay, don't forget to fill up those information. Now, of course, the key vocab here is El Mirador since this is the most important city. And if you want to get full credit for your answer for this assignment, number one, correct answers. Number two, complete sentences. And number three, use your own words. So those are the three elements in order to get a full credit for this assignment. So this is chapter six, section 2.2, the Maya classic period.